I've never been to Texas. So I was ready to come down here and check it out, and Galveston did not disappoint. From the Tremont house we've been staying at to the Gulfstream uh, Yacht Basin, all the guys, all the people in the town, they're excited we were here, and it was really nice. I mean, we were received with open arms, and the fishing was just as good. Simrads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. You know, we've been wanting to get out and do a little bit of traveling, uh, trying to explore some other places, so um, with this new relationship with Daiwa, we had met uh, Captain Brian. You know, he's a Daiwa guide and uh, here in Galveston, Texas. And um, we made the trip and uh, he got to show us around, show us what it has to offer. I've never been to Texas. So I was ready to come down here and check it out. And Galveston would, uh, did not disappoint. From the Tremont house we've been staying at to the Gulfston uh, Yacht Basin, all the guys, all the people in the town, they're excited we were here and it was really nice. I mean, I. Uh, we were received with open arms and the fishing was just as good. We got a local boy. Yeah, I met him on, uh, met him through a friend of a friend just by email, Brian Wilson. He's a uh, Daiwa pro. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see what he's got. He, he is a true local. Hopefully we got everything he needs, right? We got 39 footer. We got, I, we got a lot of horsepower. A lot of emails, I think I got. Hey, there, speak of the devil. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How you doing? Good. How I'm you doing? Brian. Brian. Steven, nice to meet you, you buddy. Too. Yeah. Scott Walker. Brian. Huh? Nice to put a face to the voice. Yes, sir. We were just Good. chatting. I think we've got everything uh, we, we need for a day of fishing. Well, the weather's looking good. I think we brought some calm seas today. Yeah. We chased a few uh, kingfish and cobia. Well, new we, snapper. We got a bunch of brand new dive with stuff. We'd love to check it out. Hey, dive looking. I will can do it. All That's right. sure. Well, we got ice, bait, and fuel. We've been That's here. That's all we need. We got our local captain. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's do it, baby. All right. The helm is yours. I'm Captain Brian Wilson. I've been fishing the Gulf Coast here uh, for close to 30 years now. Been guiding uh, this waters here for since I was 20, and uh, generally been fishing snappers, kings, dorado. Ling, um, and everything in between. We blue water to sword fishing, to marlin fishing, to inshore red fishing, jetty fishing. Um, just everything that, you know, that these waters have to offer, we fish for. You know, that marina was really set up nicely. We had the boats in the shade, which was really nice. <laughs> I think that's kind of important in Texas. Um, <laughs> I guess you got the boat in the water the day before I got here. Yeah. And um, Brian come walking down the dock, showed up, and we were out, man. You head out that, uh, that main cut where the jetties are, and there are massive ships anchored up everywhere. Now I know where they're going. They're all sitting out there in Galveston Bay, waiting to come in here, unload, reload, whatever it takes. But what's cool about that is, turns out, every one of them is a bait, bait keeper. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If it's got an anchor in the water, according to Brian, they probably have bait within a couple of days. So there was hundreds of opportunities to get all the bait we needed, and it didn't take long. First, first stop, we were loaded up in about 30 minutes. How far do I let it down? I would just throw it right off that anchor chain and just let it fall. We're in 50 foot of water. I would just let it fall until you feel them start loading up on it. What are we looking for here? Blue runners? Blue runners. More of those horn bellies. They were using baits that we would kind of call through back home and probably never use. I'll never make that mistake again because those uh, horn bellies or the uh, Atlantic bumpers, which I I sh shag off all the time. I'm gonna have to try them on the muttons when I get back home. I mean, they do have a fin in them that can get you, but so do a lot of the bait. What do we call these things? Horn bellies. Oh, Scotty's happy. Once we caught the bait, he took us to the hard bottom uh, spot, the first spot we got to. He was looking for some kingfish. A ton of bait there. Um, we didn't spend a whole lot of time, mm -hmm. um, but we did check it out just to see if there was a possibility for some kings. 
So we bump trolled around and we didn't get what we were after and Brian didn't care. But I got hundreds more spots and that was the beauty of the whole thing. We didn't anchor down, we just checked it out and off to the next spot. On the way to the next spot, there's a weather buoy. Check that out, big Kobe on it. There's one swimming right there, ain't there? Yeah, big Kobe right there. In front of their boat, two of them. You know, we spot, we stopped at two places. We've already seen copious twice. So, like, man, we keep doing this all day. We're gonna keep, keep building into a really nice, uh, a cooler full of fish. Every spot we stopped at, Scott, there was tons of life, tons of bait. Um, like you said, there was a cobia uh, on it. So far, every time we stopped the boat, we saw cobias. One of the next stops, we were able to actually uh, get get the rods bent in, and it was a variety of everything. You're not drunk. Gonna anymore. need the old sequelizer. All right, I'm going to send this one back down, Captain. Is that a kingfish or a cuda? That thing's bigger in Texas, Brian. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad. BioEsk Solutions. Clean, disinfect, protect. Galveston, Texas, it's island time. Waypoint TV, the destination for outdoor entertainment. Yeti, built for the wild. Ameritrail Trailers. Daiwa. Golden Boat Lifts. And by Killer Dock. Like what you've seen so far? Well, you can see every episode of every season of Into the Blue for free. Go to waypointtv.com. Click Ways to Watch to learn how to download the app or watch on your smart TV. You know, you went ahead and put that blue runner on that uh, on that stinger rig that Brian had tied up. Mm -hmm and uh, slung it out there off the bow and then came back to the back of the boat. And uh, he saw that rod go off, he ran up there. And uh, I think he was even fired up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, them guys like seeing them big old cooters. And that thing was a monster. You like how Scott put that in the rod holder for you? I, I like that. <laughs> There's a method to his madness. Is that a kingfish or a cuda? Ah, that's a cuda, big old cuda. Ooh, that's, that's a, a whopper. The wall hanger there. Woo! I'll, I'll gap him so we can get your. You stand there and grab that one and lift him up, Scotty. They don't make them like that in the Keys. See what we got here if he's calm. Yeah, I get that little gap. Yeah. That dude, that'd be on the safe side. Chompers on that one, buddy. Yeah, it'd be a long ride home. I mean, it was loaded with everything, like you said. But the more impressive was the size of the barracudas. The barracudas were unbelievable. Growing up at charter fishing in the Keys, so we. That was a staple 20 plus years ago, and now it's almost a thing of the past. Hold that thing up, bro. Oh, wait, grab a sail. It's like a wahoo. Yeah. That's a good one. That thing's bigger in Texas, Brian. All right, let's swim him off. Coming up on these in the, these wreck areas that we fish, um, you know, knowing that we have a lot of surface fish, a lot of uh, kudas, kingfish, sharks in general, um, we have multiple species of sharks that we that we uh, deal with, and um, you know, and tackle wise, you know, you got to be you got to up your game on your tackle with these guys. Uh, they'll tear up your leaders, they'll tear up your line, and uh, you know, you'll you'll end up losing a lot of terminal tackle with these these fish that we deal with daily. So I remember one of the times we, we had a little red snapper get cut off as we were reeling it up by the cuda. And then here comes the shark, and now the cuda and the shark are fighting each other over the, the red snapper. Uh, it's just, there's so much to see out there, and uh, Galveston really does have it all.
Oh, yeah, my name, uh, my name is Eric Wilson. I'm the director of rooms here at the Tremont House. The Tremont House, uh, it is a part of the culture of the island. We, uh, we have been here since 1985, 132 rooms in the heart of downtown. I'm sitting here uh, at the rooftop bar here at the Tremont House. It is the only rooftop bar here in Galveston, in the heart of downtown, iconic views, and just a great, wonderful afternoon or evening. Here in downtown Galveston, uh, if you've ever been to New Orleans, we're like a nicer, cleaner French Quarter. Uh, architecture uh, is the same. The food's almost on par as well. There's no shortage of places to eat. There's over 20 different restaurants within the four to five block radius. Uh, antiques, boutiques, all the souvenirs to bring back home. Uh, we've got a cruise port two blocks behind us and we're just a mile from the Gulf of Mexico. So you got a little bit of everything down here. The beach here in Galveston is eight miles of wonderful Texas coastline, beautiful water, Maybe not as pretty as the Keys, but uh, we sure love it. With the beach here in Galveston, we also have the Pleasure Pier, uh, carnival rides, roller coaster, really just a fun afternoon for the family, and uh, it's just a great experience. And really just super happy to have Into the Blue here with us. It has been a fantastic experience, and hopefully they had as much fun as we did. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Scales, every degree of water. Hawks K Resort, find what lures you. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Battle Born Batteries. Costa Pro Series. Nikon. Spear1KeyWest.com and by Rodan Marine Systems. What do you got there, buddy? I got a red snapper on your rod, I think. Oh, man! <laughs> or a mangrove. What do we got to do with this one? It's, there's fish on here now. Oh, which way to go? Oh, well, I've got a couple. There it is. Yeah. Oh, this was in the bottom. That one might have to go to dinner. That was a live bait. You want another big blue runner? Or we'll wait till the next drift? Uh, I'd say we'll wait for another drift. All right. We were hitting all kinds of depths from 60, 90, 130, and they were all holding. They were all holding. But then we got those really beautiful red snappers. I mean, I, I'm a, I love my muttons, but those were a lot easier to, to right get there? to bite, oh. <laughs> not to catch. <laughs> they, they wrecked me up plenty. They're yeah. still strong. You know, when we rolled up on the spot, we saw a little bit of life on top. You know, we saw a turtle. I think we saw a couple big barracudas around. But man, we looked over at the, the Simrad bottom machine, and it was lit up. I mean, this. Just the amount of fish that was marking on that thing was very impressive. Look at them red snappers on that screen, Cap. Right Looks on that back good. side. Right on the back side. Right 80 foot down to the bottom. Man, y'all got it good over here. The variety, all the meat fish you want. Sport fish, meat fish, anything you want. Got it all, man. I know what you were saying, you go a little further out and you get uh, swordfish. Swordfish. All the deep marlin. drop species, marlin, sailfish. Everything. That's awesome. Oh, fish on, Walker. What? Yeah. 
I'm about wore out. I don't know about you. <laughs> I've had my fill, I can tell you that. Turn him, oh, skip turn around. So one of the uh, general fish we mainly fish here is uh, the red snapper, which our season will run from June 1st. Uh, every year kind of varies. Uh, we'll get 60 to 70 days according with the seasons that they give us. Oh, I broke his spirit almost. Now you just got to get him through the kudos. What do you think, Steve? Snapper? Yeah, I think I'm going to guess a snapper. Red snapper. They say grouper, but ain't no sunlight. <laughs> it's a nice snapper, buddy. Big old red snapper. Well, that's a real one. A good one yeah. Woo! Sure. <laughs> Can't get away from these things, huh, Cap? Nothing wrong with that one right there. That's why you come to Galveston right there. Look at that one. What's that? Pretty fish. You want to use that uh, device? Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Let's set that at 50. All right. I think we're at 50 there. Yeah. And then so this. Clip her on. Clipped onto this rig or what? We'll tie a little loop in it. Tie a little loop right there, and we'll be. We'll send it right on back down. Pretty cool little device. All right, and it'll pop right off. We got her set at 50 foot. All right. Got to wait on there. And just let her go, right, fall right on back down towards the bottom. Can't get enough into the blue? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hashtag us in some of your big fish photos, and we'll feature you as fan of the week. See you there. You know, a lot of times when you reel these fish up from the deep water, they, they get blowed up from the pressure. You know, it's a lot more pressure down on the bottom than there is on the surface. So a lot of times they blow up and um, you need to have some type of device to get them down. So we were fortunate enough that there's a local West Marine right here in Galveston. We went over there, we picked up this uh, device where you clip it on to the fish, put a bunch of sinkers on and that thing will take it down to whatever depth you want it to go and then it releases and that thing was very handy with allowing that, that all these fish to get little trick get down to the bottom unharmed so on that sequelizer you got it set at 50 set at 50 awesome so yeah when it starts going down once it hits about 50 foot it's going to release and all of a sudden your reel is just going to take off a little faster fish will be gone and they'll swim back down to the depths all right i'm gonna send this one back down captain Set at 50, and let's see what happens. Going down. Right there, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And it popped open. Let's him go. Cool. Making some grunting sounds over there, Scotty. <laughs> Just... I got a meat fish. I'm almost out of your way. Are you? I'm gonna need the. I see you're not grunting. I'm gonna anymore. need the old sequelizer and some air. Oh, there we go. All right. Shark release. There we go. Oh, look. See, you ask and you receive. Perfect. Yeah. We're going to give him the hook anyway. Exactly. 
Well, Cap, I'm good, man. I had a great time here in Galveston with you. <laughs> you officially wore me out. So, you know, it was, it, was, it was really great to be able to get out there on the water. You got such a great town here. You know, you got a great beach, great restaurants, uh, plenty to do for the family. Um, and then also to be able to get offshore and really catch some, some really nice quality fish. You know, uh, if meat is what you're after, they got it. If just some sport fishing is what you're after, they have that. Um, if it's just to get out there and look at the, see the dolphin and the turtles and the sharks and the cooters, they got that. So this place is, uh, I would highly recommend anybody, you know, in the Texas area or even not to come on down and give it a shot. You ready, buddy? Let it rip.